ਅਸੀਂ ਚੱਲੇ ਆ ਕੋਈ ਨਾ ਦੁਆ ਦੁਆ ਕਰਿਓ ਅੱਛਾ ਉਹ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਦੁਆ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਕਰਦੀ ਕਰਨੀ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਜੋ ਮਰਜ਼ੀ ਵੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਪੋਤੇ ਆ ਮੇਰੇ ਮਦ ਮਦ ਐਂ ਆ ਸਕੋ ਮਾਈ ਹਾਊ ਕੈਨ ਇਟ ਬੀ 3000 ਪਾਉਂਡਸ ਫਰ ਸਕੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੇਖ ਕੇ ਹੋਣਾ ਕਿ ਜੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਇੰਸਟਾਗ੍ਰam ਦੇ ਉੱਪਰ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਇੰਜ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਨੂੰ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਐਂਡ ਅਪ ਗੇਟਿੰਗ ਲੋਸ Okay so we finally made it to Istanbul and honestly that was an absolute nightmare of a journey um so the flight was delayed by over an hour um in Manchester and then even when we got onto the plane it took another hour for it to take off so all in all we were 2 hours delayed and now we've arrived in Istanbul and as you can tell it's quite dark sun setting and i feel absolutely exhausted um but you know what we're going to hopefully head out um out of the airport and then hopefully try and get into the hotel. I think I'm still going to try and explore some of Istanbul tonight um just because the weather looks absolutely gorgeous. Um so yeah, let's go, but before that I'll show you who I'm with. Hi guys. So I'm here with my brother. <laughs> so yeah, it's a really busy flight. Uh Manchester Airport security was so busy, honestly. We left it I I mean, I mean to be honest, I thought we came on time, but it was just extremely busy, so the travel chaos is definitely true. So yeah, watch out. And honestly, the most important thing is that we're here. Uh Sam, should we show them the airport? Yeah, so this is the airport. I'm not sure if this is the new Istanbul airport, but it looks really nice. How was your experience of the flight? Uh it was uh standard, it's not the excellent service. The service was just say uh, at par. There you go. Abu's not happy either. <laughs> okay, so just arrived in the hotel, and um, now I'm ready to sort of relax. But you know what? I still feel like there's still some time in the night, so we might go and explore. Uh, but before I do that, I'll show you the hotel room, um, just like every travel vlogger does. This is the room. I'll start from the bathroom. So this is bathroom. I say I'm going to use that but I probably won't because I feel like I'm not going to have a time to use the bathtub. And this is the rest of the room and as you can see my dad's there relaxing. Dad are you tired? Tired or girl? Yeah, it was a long flight and especially it was delayed for a few hours so that had more stress and frustration. when you're young we need to go and explore of course yeah are you ready should we go out yeah my dad's not going to come out it's probably just going to be me and Hamza i think he's ready to just knock off for the night um but i think we're going to try and go and find some food um we're thinking mcdonald's at the moment aren't we Hamza mcdonald's yeah so i think i think that's the only i mean that's the first thing you want to try whenever you come to a muslim country you want to try halal mcdonald's uh try a big mac um uh, and then hopefully turkish food tomorrow yeah i don't think anything's open because it's 11 um and ideally we want to go have some turkish kebabs but um i don't think anything's open so we're just going to go get some food and then come back and relax in the hotel room so i'll hopefully see you after we've gotten some food so see you in a bit so we finally found some food to eat and um, we had to come all the way to taksim square um and we have got some turkish food we've got some turkish donna and then also i think a turkish burger so i'm going to get hamza to show you the food that we've got yeah so we've got we've got like a turkish wrap here uh <laughs> it looks it looks quite nice uh, uh it's like a mixed on a wrap uh but we'll taste it and we'll see what we think go on take your first bite do you approve yes that's really good <laughs> well, nice. I think I'll put him on the spot even if it's not nice he's going to say it's nice. Um so yeah we're just going to sit here enjoy our food and then probably head back to um the hotel in in around an hour. I think the time at the moment is it's 1 a.m. so it's quite late. Um but I'm going to show you how busy Taksim Square still is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's super busy. I don't think Istanbul ever sleeps. Um so really excited for the next couple of days, but I will see you all hopefully at the hotel or if not tomorrow. So see you later. Good morning. So we've just woken up. Um and currently it is around 8:00. Um 
we all feel absolutely exhausted because we didn't end up sleeping until 2am yesterday um, just because it's such a hectic day um, now we're probably going to go have some light breakfast inside the hotel um, and then freshen up and then hopefully go and explore um, Istanbul. So currently we are headed to Topkapi Palace um, because I think we're going to try and see all of the historical sites today, well most of the historical sites um, and we're in one of the taxis. I think no matter where you go in any part of the world, I think one of the scariest experiences or most stressful experiences is trying to find a good reliable taxi. Uh, main reason for that is sometimes when you get into a taxi what you'll find is they charge you way too much um, and because you're not too sure about the currency you end up paying double or triple what you should pay um, but you know what Turkey's actually worked on that quite a lot uh, because I think since the last time we've come there's so many more um, sort of government run taxis which is good and it's made it a lot easier as well um, so yeah I'm with my dad who sat at the front and then Hamza who's behind the camera um, and then hopefully we're gonna go to Topkapi Palace see the sights and you know what just have a good day so this part of the holiday is called being a tourist and essentially this is where you pick up your camera you head straight out try and speak to the locals but being very unsuccessful at that so that's usually followed by walking more walking and lots of more walking and it gets to the point where you start to feel like your legs are going to fall off. I mean, but that's when you find all the hidden gems of any city that you go to. And I love sightseeing. And I love the history behind every single city that I go to. So I think whenever I travel, it always makes me appreciate how big the world is, but also how similar we all are. You having a good time? Uh, really good time, yeah. The weather is very nice. Both the chamos are mad. Have we come? We come to McDonald's. <laughs> you can never go wrong with the McDonald's whenever you come abroad. I think that's like the, one of the best things of going to any sort of Muslim country because we can never really eat McDonald's in the UK. Um, no matter where we go, we always need to try the McDonald's. Um, and the crazy thing is, it's so cheap here. Um, we got all of this food and we spent around 180 liras, which is equivalent to nine pounds. Which is crazy because I think if you got all of this stuff in, in, in the UK, you're looking at spending around 20 pounds. It's unreal. Um, so we're going to dig into this food, and then after we've done that, we're going to hopefully go and do some shopping at one of the bazaars. Um, it's our last day in, in Istanbul, so I want to go and get some gifts for my umma and some more people back home. Um, so yeah, going to dig into this and then hopefully see you at the bazaar. We have still not found the bazaar um, and we were getting tired after all of that walking so we've decided to just sit down in the shade and have some cold water. So we're going to cool down and then after we've cooled down had a little bit of a rest we're going to carry on with our walk and hopefully find the bazaar. Hamza, what do you think? Do you think we're going to find this bazaar? Yeah, I think, I think we're basically there so we've been walking out for quite some time. Uh, but it's been a really nice walk. But the locals in Istanbul are really helpful. I mean, anyone that we've been to and asked for help, they've always given us directions. Um, but yeah, we'll hopefully see you at the bazaar. She buy for me like seven scarf, one for this. And she buy seven scarf, one of this one. Seven of the same? No, one. Seven doors. Okay. One extra for this. Bowl curry. Found the market, but I am absolutely exhausted. Hence why I'm sat down here on the sofa. Um, my dad and my brother are both um, doing some shopping. Um, we were walking around the market just down there, and they had some ridiculous prices. I think one of the sort of scarves that we were thinking to get for my grandma, we went and we went and asked for the price, and the guy said. Um, I think it works out to be three thousand pounds, and I was like, "Whoa! Like, how can it be three thousand pounds for a scarf?" Um, I mean, it looked nice, but it wasn't like anything special. Nothing that I would think would be worth three thousand. Um, so we've left that market. We've come to um, one outside, and this one looks a little bit more reasonable. Um, but I'll see after my dad gets. Um, the quote of the prices, yeah, I think it's definitely more reasonable. I think they said around ten pounds, which which isn't bad, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'll flip the camera and show you my dad shopping. 
because I can't get up. Force myself to get up so I can show you what my dad's buying. I'm gonna get some as well because I need to get some for my grandma. Um, let's see. So you price it, so we're done with exploring. Well, we're not done, we're just really tired. So we've come to one of the best places in Turkey. Everyone knows it, and it's Nusrat, so Salt Bay. And my dad's never tried it before, so we thought, you know what, we're gonna take our dad to the best place in Turkey, um, and that way. When he goes back, he can tell all of his friends and he can be like, oh, you know what, I've been to Salt Bay. Um, you know what, I've never been to this restaurant before and it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, it's inside like this really big mall um, and I'll hopefully try and flip the camera and get some footage of, of the, the mall as well, but I'll just show you the restaurant. Dad. I feel like it is having a steak. I heard, yeah, I have heard about this place a lot. So let's see, let's try, and then I will uh, let you know how I feel and how I rate this uh, restaurant. Salent, salent, nahi khana. Salent, available nahi hai. So let's try steak. Main pehli dhawa ek hai ki abu salent nahi pochta pe. Fir chalo. मैं मैं होप करता भी हूँ कि आप पूरा ऐप प्लेस ट्राई करके बहुत खुश हो जाए जो इस सोल पे दी दुकान है बहुत मशहूर हों दी है कि तुष्य वे क्यों ना कि जो जो इंस्टाग्राम तो पर जाके एंजॉय करता है दून सकता है फिर ऐली वजह तो ना जेल भी लोग की दुनिया दिन दिन दरें सोचने कि मैं उन्हें उन्हें दुकान जाके ख Just finished eating in um, Nusrat and now I feel absolutely exhausted. Um, I think the lack of sleep is really catching up to me so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go and hopefully get some rest. Before I do that, Dad, how, how was your experience of Nusrat? Santi? Yeah, it was good. Enjoyable था and it was really busy as well. सालन तो नहीं miss करता? सालन miss तो करना ही है सालन तो बगार तो गुजारा नहीं है लेकिन stay अच्छा सी। क्या ना जिधर से अंदर गए सी experience अच्छा सी जिन जना वो ना जिन जो खाना पकान देने थे वो एंज थे जिन जो what's the word? जिन जो काट देने हाँ जिन जो खाना काट देने वो तो ना ना मजा आता है बंदे ने वेक के � I really liked it. I think well, you can never really go wrong with Salt Bay whenever you're in, in Istanbul or in Turkey. Um, you definitely need to go to uh, Nusrat. Um, they get to see how in Istanbul for Nusrat the Rur Janai. Hoon Wapas Jake, Thora Rest Karnai, Thora Relax Karnai, Thora Ostabad, Rathanu, Fair Jake, Explore Karnai. Okay, so we freshened up and we decided to go and explore Istanbul, um, but we ended up getting lost. Well, not lost because we were in a taxi and the taxi driver said that there's too much traffic. So he told us to get on public transport, um, and we've never gotten on public transport before, but um, someone's kindly helped us um, out today. Um, what's your name? My name is Martan. Martan? Martan. Martan? Yeah. yeah. Martan is helping us get to Taksim. So my dad's at Taksim at the moment, so the plan is to hopefully go to Taksim, uh, meet up with my dad, maybe get an ice cream, um, and then after that just probably head back to the hotel because I feel absolutely exhausted. Everything's closed because I'm sure we were out at like 2am yesterday and the metro was running um, but for some reason it's 12.33 and everything's closed. Um, but you know what, Like I, I don't mind too much because I'm with Hamza and as crazy as it sounds, we've, we've been lost before as well and I think one thing that I realized is um, you can usually go to most people who, who live here and they, they usually help you um, and Martin's being really nice and I'm sure he's probably running late as well but he's 
taking that extra time just to help us. Um, so definitely appreciate that. Um, I think the plan now is just to try and find a taxi and then um, we're just going to go and try and meet up with my dad. I know for a fact that my dad's going to tell me off <laughs> and he's going to be like, why did you leave me? Um, why did you decide to go out alone? But you know what, he didn't want to come with us, which is why we we're, we're not with him at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'll hopefully try and keep you updated. And the plan is to try and get a taxi now, so see you in a bit. So we finally made it out, and I just want to say thank you. Was it my time? Thank you so much. We made it back to the hotel. Yeah. But what have we brought with us, Hamza? Uh, so we've got some Burger King, <laughs> because McDonald's was closed. And it, sound, it seems like a really basic thing to do, to come here to Istanbul and then get, and get McDonald's. But I feel like it's something that everyone does. Uh, so yeah, so we've got, we've got some burgers, because it's Burger King. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, some chips and then some drinks. Uh, so yeah, so... How was it getting home? Nightmare. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it was, it was the worst because we we tried we tried crossing the bridge and there's so much traffic mm -hmm. so someone Fair was enough. like oh yeah just get the public transport oh, no. oh. and then uh, and we got onto the public transport and no. and then it turns out that the metro closes after midnight uh, so then we got trapped underneath but fortunately someone helped us out and then most important thing is that we're here now <laughs> enjoying some burgers so i'm gonna end the vlog here and we're gonna enjoy our food so i'll hopefully see you all later the food is kosher? Yes, it's kosher. Do you like it? Yes. It's good. It's a historic place. Yes, it's good. Do you like it? Yes, it's not good. I don't like it. We're going to explore it. Yes, it's good. 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 Yes,